So what you're saying is essentially that this woke white guy is building his entire exhibit on the blood, sweat, and tears of the black experience in America. Wait, why are you framing it like that? But isn't that what he's doing? No. I mean, he's literally, like, making it about himself. He's inserting himself into a narrative that has nothing to do with it. Well, wait, have you ever even seen any of his work? No. His exhibit. It's, you know, it's a collaborative effort that features black and brown artists like me. Which, you know, on one hand is awesome, but on the other hand, I mean, he's literally making room for you on his sparkly stage of, of okay. anti racism You're really annoying me right now. Okay, well, you're really annoying me right now. No, I'm not. Look, I'm just, I'm trying to take advantage of the clout that he has in this art industry, because I think he could actually open up some real doors for me. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, you're going to take advantage of John Smith's clout. Oh, here we go. Great. Yeah, another colonialism 101 lecture from our resident social justice lady herself. He goes by Jonathan, by well, the way. Well, you're the one who always talks about how you miss the intellectual stimulation of academia, so here I am. Like, it's not like he, he can help it up his name. Well, his parents can help it. I mean, they looked at their baby boy and they were like, oh, we're going to name you after a notorious colonizer responsible for opening the first door to genocide and slave trade in America. So, um, what was that at the gallery yesterday? I you know, like all that arm touching and giggling. Really? Okay, you're serious? I mean, I didn't expect, I did not expect to see that when I was picking you up for lunch yesterday. <sighs> do you have like, do you have a crush on him? No. Or do you miss getting hit on by dudes? No. Do you miss male validation? Why, why do you say that like that? Like that, like male, male, male gaze or whatever. Male gaze. I mean, mm. I, I don't know. I guess I get. I mean, sometimes you can't help who you have a crush on or what. Oh, okay. Well, hypothetically speaking, if I did have a crush on him then, and I didn't know, then you can't really be angry at me. <laughs> Let's agree to disagree then. Okay. Well, as adorable as all of this jealousy is right now, I'm pretty much over this, so I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, so no Seinfeld tonight. Well, you should have thought about that before you annoyed the shit out of me. Mm. I just don't get it, babe. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, this could retroactively tarnish your career, you know? Like... Imagine becoming this, like, world-renowned, badass artist that represents the black community, and then it comes out that you were associated with this, like, dude, this white dude that centered himself in the Black Lives Matter movement. And, I mean, it's only a matter of time, you know? It's a matter. It's only a matter of time that they're going to find out what a self-serving fraud he is. Do you think he's hot? Hey, stop interrogating me. Not even remotely interrogating Yes, you are. You always do this. You literally always pull this shit. You know that you do it all the time. You try to act like you're some high and mighty intellectual tornado running around the streets trying to like save everyone and fight for everything. It's like, you do this all the time. Act like you know more than me about me. It's really annoying. You're like overbearing social justice police slash authoritarian figure. You did not just call me authoritarian. Yeah. Habib did. No. Love. No, my love. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, even you know. We've talked about this. You know sometimes that you're just so, like, naive and naive. transparent. You know, like, you you give people the benefit of the doubt and they don't even deserve it. Well, it's it. not cute. Like, using your little Arabic pet names it doesn't soften the fact that you're being mean to me. Like, you're being condescending right now. Okay, well, I said what I said. Funny, thanks. And transparent. Okay, yeah, I'm so transparent. I'm so transparent, then what am I doing tomorrow night? I don't know. Going to the club with the girls. Really? Or you're baking okay. vegan, keto-friendly cupcakes. Right Shape the little hearts. Yourself? No, actually, I'm going to let him paint me. And well, me and a few of the other female artists of color. Like, And he actually wants to feature the painting in his exhibit. Oh my god. Uh, I'm serious. I'm gonna do it. I want to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you're gonna let a white guy, a white savior dude, paint you and these other black women as part of what it was that you just said? Reclaiming 
something. What? That doesn't even make any sense. Like, what the fuck? Like, uh, how dumb do you have to be to walk into that? You know, like, literally the epitome of everything we're fighting and against, don't. right? Like, the white supremacist patriarchy, you're just walking right into Don't it. fucking call me dumb. You know, for someone who's so enlightened, it amazes me that you have the nerve to say something like that to me. Someone who you love, right? And for someone who's so passionate about black empowerment, what do you know about being black? You've never had a black experience in your entire life, so what do you know? Why? Because you have one degree in race and ethnic studies, so that makes you an expert. You've read every book by Angela Davis and Langston Hughes, so that makes you an expert on, uh, on black oppression more than me? Well, let me remind you of something. You are not black, and you don't get a black card for dating a black woman either. Nobody asked you to, to, to fucking speak for black people either. You are still just a, a white passing woman who doesn't know shit about oppression. Well, there are black people out there who can't even wear hoodies. They're walking down the street at night. And that's the difference. I so don't look white. I mean, have you seen these eyebrows? Okay, you know what? Cops don't give a fuck about your eyebrows. Okay, well, Ashley at Whole Foods does not have these eyebrows. And my 23 in me basically says I'm 100% Arab. So you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. And Ice Cube has made an appearance once again. I, I, how, how could you say I don't know anything about oppression? I don't know, I personally don't know anything about oppression. I mean, you basically said that. You said that I don't know what oppression personally is. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't even talk about what happened with, I mean, myself, my own personal experience, and my family's experience after 9-11, because it never feels like the place or time to do it, you know? Like, it just doesn't, <laughs> it either is going to, like, pale in comparison to whatever anyone says, or it's going to, like, overshadow, it's just not ever the right time or place. Oh, that's not true. It is true, you know? <laughs> I don't know what oppression is. Even though my dad was put on the no-fly list in Bush's America and my grandma gets more and more Islamophobic slurs thrown at her ever since Trump's America, all because she wears a hijab and it makes her an easy target. And, like, what about my grandparents on my mom's side? They literally got forced out of their homes in Palestine because Zionism. And then the UN doesn't know how to curtail any of this any of just this, this forcibly removing innocent people from their homes by the thousands, you know, and the constant U.S. war on terror, whatever the hell that is, and no one's ever going to call it out for what it is, you know? Uh, can we talk about who the real terrorist is? Because I'm sorry, the, the people just trying to mind their own business and live their lives, I wouldn't call them that. And for what? A war on terror for what? It's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, I, I do hear you. And like, even just the name Middle East, I hate when people call me Middle Eastern or when I have to call myself Middle Eastern because that's the only way people understand what that even means. Middle East, you know what that means? It's literally named after the relative position on the map to the UK, right? So uh, the world is round, but we act like it's flat. So we call it the Middle East and then we call it the East, right? How does that even make sense? Edward Said talks about it, you know, the East, the Middle East. It's, it's relative to Western Europe. It's this place that they just put us in, like this, this mystical, barbaric land. And we're all, we're the other, we're otherized, which makes it so easy to know invade and take from us and not care and it's just so fucked up and no one cares no one really talks about it because it's not it's not here and then when it is here it's still not talked about you know like no one cares the media doesn't care okay tv shows movies the way if i have to see one more arab person playing either a refugee, which ironically, right? Cause that's all we are. It's what we're familiar with. 
Or fucking terrorists, of course. So. Whatever. I don't know. You know. So just please don't. Just please don't tell me I don't know what oppression looks like. Okay. It doesn't look like yours, but just don't tell me I don't know what it looks like. Maybe you're triggered. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry, Ted. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. 